Now, incumbent chairman of the opposition National Democratic Congress, Samuel Fusampofo, is lacing his boots to face perhaps his biggest political battle. He comes up against the incumbent General Secretary Johnson, Asiye Dunketia, the December 17 National Delegates Congress of the NDC. By all indications, this will be an intriguing contest. Win or lose, one of the contestants will come out politically bruised. But Mr. Fosuampofo is confident of victory. Elton Brobe has more in this report. Are off the line drawn in the sand, and there is no holding back as incumbent national chairman of the NDC, Samuel Fosuampofo, sticks his neck out to face perhaps the biggest battle of his political career. He will face the general secretary of the NDC, Johnson the Syrian Ketia, in the contest of pride, supremacy, and command in the NDC. But he's absolutely certain he will retain the chairmanship slot. Just three years in office as chairman of the party, together with my team of dynamic executives, we were able to increase our seats in parliament from 106 to 137. And our presidential votes also moved from 4.8 million to approximately 6. 3 million, a very quantum jump with your support, we can rescue our beloved country from the clutches of the Akufuado Bahamia MPP government that has brought untold hardships on Ghanaians. Samuel of Oswampofo has had an illustrious political life since age 29 when he was first elected as branch organizer for the Fantiaco constituency in the eastern region. He will later go on to become a district chief executive, a deputy regional minister, regional minister in the eastern region, national organizer of the NDC, and a local government minister. He says the experience gained over the years is unmatched and assured he will lead the NDC to win the 2024 general elections. I plan to continue to build an all-inclusive party, united and focused, under the guidance of our core values of freedom, transparency, solidarity, probity, and accountability. And if I tell you I'm a unifier, indeed I'm a unifier. But his reign as national chairman of the NDC has not been without criticism. The party's poor performance in the 2016 general elections, an allegation of non coalition of election results in the last elections, has been blamed on him. But the Fosom Pofo is rejecting the charge. We collated our results. It is very clear. We have every resource there. And in that case, if we did not collate resource, the chief executive of the party is the general secretary. He runs the party day to day. All the departments of the party are under him. They report directly to him. So if he's coming to contest me, why do you single the chairman out and say, say the chairman who should be held responsible? responsibility. No, but I'm saying that people have their jobs cut out for them. I am not uh, responsible for coalition of election results. He also believes the contest between him and Mr. Asirin Katia could have been avoided as it works dividing the party ahead of the crucial elections in 2024. This move is a wrong move. It is not a politically correct decision. It may be by person a personal interest, but we should have looked at the larger interests of the party. And there were moves by the Council of Elders. His Excellency President Mama Nkasa Meki moves more than one year ago. And the General Secretary said that he had not taken a decision and that he has options. And so there were, there were moves. There were every effort that was made to prevent this from happening. But, well, you can force the donkey to the riverside. But I cannot force it to drink. And if the person says I'm going, it's a constitutional right. But I think that that right is not in the interest of the party. But as delegates of the NDC decides who should lead the party, supporters of Samuel of Oswampofo have one demand for their candidate, Kum Intonton Preko, to wait, kill mosquito once. Victory will be for Ofosuampofo. December. And we are going to teach somebody a bitter lesson.